What's good, scrappers, tool addicts, tool collectors? Welcome to CC Scraps Restoration Channel. You guys are crooked. We're always crooked in this workshop, aren't we? <laughs> so, uh, it's going to be a short video today. Um, during uh, last week, Thursday, our little pit bull that you see running around uh, in my videos every once in a while in the house or whatever, uh, it was her time to go over the Rainbow Bridge. Yeah, it's pretty sad. Uh, my wife got her in as a stray like 14 years ago. She was just supposed to foster her for like, you know, a couple weeks so she could find her a home or whatever. A couple of people looked at her, didn't want her. And then you, know, you take one look at that dog face and you're not going to let her go anywhere. Um, so, you know, and I've been in the picture eight years. So, you know, she definitely grew on me. Like, I love that little dog. Um, but anyway, you know, she was just old. She was having trouble getting on the bed. She uh, couldn't walk right. She was really, her breathing was labored, so we kind of, you know, made the decision over the week to, to put her down, you know, to put her to sleep, so. We got her buried in the backyard next to the cat we lost last summer, so that's why the video is going to be a little short, and uh, I'm just going to go inside after this little quick video here and uh, hang around with the wife, eat some ribs. We smoked the other day, uh, along with scrapping metal and restoring tools. Smoking meat makes me happy. <laughs> I, <should. laughs> I didn't mean to say it that way. It's funny. I can just see the comments right now lighting up. Yeah, dude, we knew it all along. Da -da -da, all that kind of stuff. And I can't wait to see what my coworkers, if they're watching this video, are going to say to me Monday morning. Um, but yeah, they're probably going to ask me stupid shit like, do you smoke meat just on the weekends or do you do it during the week and all this other dumb crap? So anyway, but yeah, we, we smoked a turkey. Uh, we did ribs uh, last night. My wife deep fried a section, and then we smoked them. We smoked some mac and cheese. That came out good. We smoked chicken wings. That was my first smoke. I think we might start doing videos every once in a while, like maybe on a different channel. I'm smoking meat. <laughs> anyway, let's get right into the video. Sit tight. All right, so we're back, and... Uh, Basically, the idea I got from this video is watching Scout Crafter. Um, he, he did a video on a repair on one of these wrenches. Um, I think it was Friday, yesterday. I didn't watch the video. I saw part of what he was doing, and then I kind of got caught up in all the other stuff going on. So I kind of had to shut it off, which kind of sucked, but it is what it is. So we'll watch it probably at 3 o'clock in the morning when I can't sleep. So... Yeah, definitely. Sometimes I'm up early like that for some reason. I'll get up, go to the bathroom, or get a water, some water, and I can't fall back asleep, so I'm watching, you know, go down some YouTube rabbit hole, which is fine. I'll tell you what, if I had YouTube when I was in high school, I could probably have been a damn rocket scientist. Building rockets, all sorts of stuff. Do you have any of that old CC scratch building, like a spy satellite or some shit like that? That would be crazy, wouldn't it? <laughs> like that little white suit and all that little precision tools. <clears throat> So, uh, so anyway, I got this set of three right here. Um, these are called monkey wrenches, um, pipe wrenches. I believe these are monkey wrenches. Some people go back and forth. I, like my granddaddy would call this a monkey wrench. Um, and the pipe wrenches, they're a pipe wrench. They're, they're different, you know. Um, so I got this one here and this one. This one, I'll kind of like show you i got these three and they're heavy as hell i don't know how old they are i have no maker's mark on them i got these at the swap meet i think it was for five dollars for everything and this one was broke right here the bigger one see right here where it's got that little break in it um even this is cc scraps as pointer she made me right here there's a little break um Look like, you know, they used it with a hammer. It looks like part of it is bent because it's kind of doing this a little bit. Can you see that, what I'm talking about? Right? I don't know. But anyway, you got this one. And here's this one. Um, I don't know how long. I don't know how big they are. I don't know anything. I can't see anything. Um, but they're old. Um, this little guy here might be a what a seven inch six inch seven inch i don't know um <clears throat> then i got this one this one i think i got in a 
in a free toolbox, to be honest with you. One of these free toolboxes I've been showing you guys the past few weeks, this thing was in here. All it says is Cleveland, Ohio, or Cleveland, USA. It, is it made in Cleveland, or is that a Cleveland tool? I don't know. Someone will know, and someone will let me know. And that's what I love about the YouTube tool community. Because if you don't know what it is, no one craps on you, makes you feel dumb. They just help you out and say, hey, this is what it is, dude. Um, well, you get your few trolls here and there, but those are the ones that are just, you know, you see what their, you see their YouTube, whatever their name is, and then they're like playing video games in a basement or something, which is great to play video games as long as it's not your mother's, dude. Um, so this one's cool, right? This is a Coe's. This says Coe's Wrench Company, Springfield, Mass, USA. Can you guys see that? Now... I'm going to go all 357 Magdan on you guys. I've got my glasses on so I can't see. On a bit of history. I don't have the picture thing figured out yet to put into the factory or something, but we'll figure it out. I'm making baby steps, but baby steps. Don't judge me. <laughs> so, <clears throat> Coe's Wrench Company was founded April 1st, excuse me, 1888. And from what it said online, Worcestershire, Massachusetts. Now, I have friends that live in Mass. I think Jimmy C. and friends you either live in Maine or Mass. I can't remember which one it is, dude, and I apologize. But you told me that it's pronounced Wista. So that's what we're going to go with, brother. Thank you. I mean, I'm, I'm from New York, so I guess that's if that's what's the way it's pronounced, that's what we're going to say. I even wrote it. See right there? So, um, and this particular design, the monkey wrench, was, uh, the design was by Loring Coase, and that was manufactured from, oh crap, was it mid? See, I took horrible notes, now I gotta think here. Uh, ah, hold on. Oh yeah, so all it said was, it was manufactured this particular design was manufactured up until the mid-1960s. I don't know when it began. I'm going to assume 1888 when the company started. It didn't say anything online about that that I remember. Um, then in 1928, it moved to Springfield, Massachusetts, and it closed in 1991. Um, I'm hoping that those facts are straight. Excuse me. That's true. Oh, goodness. Goodness. Woo. Hmm. There's all sorts of dust in this shop for some reason. I don't know, but anyway, um, then the coolest thing about this is that, you know, it showed this, and then on the back, it's Billings. So did Coe's make this for Billings? I think, is that the way that went down? And this says, this one has got a maker's mark on it of the Billings, Coe's, and some kind of number. I think that says A. 54? Is that what that says right there? A54? Isn't that crazy? And I got this. I picked this up. This was $6 at a flea market. And I'm not going to lie. like I, I, I think I had to throw this in a crap load of evaporust and everything because it was pretty mangled. And again, you can see where it's, you know, like the jaws are, are you know, they're kind of like mushroomed out a little. And again, you know, they use it for a hammer. Uh, but this thing works. Like, it's the, the Acme screw, I think, is bent a little bit. But uh, um, but it seems to move. It's only weird when it gets to about up, up in here when it gets a little tighter. But there is a slight bend in the screw. But anyway, that's the video. <clears throat> wow, we're crooked. Oops. I hope all y'all enjoyed it. Uh, sorry it was short and sweet, but I'm going to just get in the house and relax and uh, finish out the weekend. See, Scratch Restorations, thanks for listening to me rant, and we'll see you on the next one.